Hello and welcome to episode 89 of the Jeffrey and Brian Show. I'm Jeffrey. I'm Brian. Hey, two guys drinking beer. Talk what's going on. We got Claire, the dirty tranny, with us again. Hey, guys. And we are back on Facebook. Yeah, it's po- entirely possible that was user error. But I am certain it said we were temporary, temporarily uh, not able to do that. And for some really off-color jokes. We did, but if we were going to get in trouble for stuff like that, I said something on the show once on Facebook that it would have got us in trouble. <laughs> Uh-huh. But either way, we have figured this out once again. Brian has come and saved the day. Uh, a lot of stuff. I don't know how much this crap we're actually going to get to because pretty much anything to do with Russia uh, is already out of date. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and some of the stuff we didn't cover last week. Actually, I think it was just the COVID stuff. So that should be easy enough. Well, I mean... With Russia, though, there there's a whole can of worms there. I think there's a whole bunch of cans of worms, and I think they all have propaganda written on front of in the front of the can. Uh, I honestly am not sure what to trust coming out of the mainstream media. Well, well, okay, we'll get to this because uh, I have a whole bunch to say about that. Uh, I'm gonna go tinfoil hat style on it. Uh, I don't have anything local this week. Uh, besides the fact that pretty much the entire country is taking their masks off to include Massachusetts, Massachusetts, except for Boston. Uh, Virginia's always got tons of stuff going on down there, but that's because they're uh, cleaning house in their own government. Um, but we don't usually cover stuff like this, but, you know, we do news, you know, not just uh, political crap. Futurama's coming back. Yeah. And I'm very excited for this. And Joe, De- yeah, Joe, John DiMaggio just agreed that he was going to do uh, the voice of Bender again because there was this whole thing called Bender Gate when he wasn't going to do it and just wouldn't be the same without Bender telling me to bite his shiny metal ass. Or to kill all humans. Not <laughs> kill all humans. I'm sure they offered him a nice chunk of change to do that. That's actually exactly what the whole thing was. He said he wasn't going to be getting paid enough, and he thought they all should get paid more. I got to blow my nose. Yeah, same here. Well, I, we actually... Oh, you you said you have follow-up to this. Okay. Um, well, we talked about it on the previous show about these uh, Trump prosecutors that are resigning... And they're citing uh, that the investigation is stalled in their resignation letters. Yeah, because yeah, we talked about this last episode, right? Mm-hmm. And there was no they they gave a bunch of reasons, but it was all like CNN given reasons. Yeah, and the Biden administration, and then these people were like, no, there's there's no evidence of anything. Right. <clears throat> we all knew it was going to happen, but. You have to let investigations happen or else you're uh, the crazy conspiracy theorist that's trying to cover something up, you know? Yep. And pardon the runny nose. Uh, I got my Biden crack pipe. Uh, and uh, it's, whoo, cocaine's a hell of a drug. <laughs> they even gave me a special tool to operate my uh, crack pipe properly. <laughs> uh, well, I got my uh, Biden at-home COVID tests in the mail a couple of weeks ago. In the ones that are no good because Probably. once they when they hit a certain temperature, they're worthless. Yeah. I laughed so hard because they came on the news up here. They're like, oh, yeah, don't trust any of them because they all froze during that, that cold snap. And all I could think was, where do these vaccines come in? Like, did it freeze there and ruin the whole batch for the whole country? Mm-hmm. <laughs> ah, that sounded like a giant waste of money. It almost oh, it definitely sounds like, was. Well, it's just like sounds- that in the, you know, Biden's handing out those... N95 masks at libraries and post offices for everybody that wants one, you know? Yeah. Well, it, conspiracy theory moment here for a second. If he was just trying to pay someone off, this would be a good way to do it. Give them a giant wad of money for these tests then have them all get contaminated somehow. Yep. <laughs> and, I just, and they're really just water on a tray. And we, and we got to buy more tests because yeah, now we got, got, got 10 Exactly. <laughs> uh, all right, well, so they were trying to prove Trump's a crazy bastard with that whole, 
investigation thing and they found yeah. nothing so far or not much anyway this guy actually was a crazy, a crazy bastard man. yeah uh i mean it's bad enough to kill your own children and and, and someone else and then yourself but in a church uh claire i understand you used to live in the area yes i did uh it's part of the sacramento or um like area along with like roseville and stuff like that so i bet you're glad you got out of california in general oh yes incredibly <laughs> uh now he was there on a supervised visit with his kids uh so obviously there was something going on there yeah, and from everything it says, like, he got killed his wife, too. Oh, was that the other person? Yeah, that was the other person. I One other was his wife? Are you kidding? I read the article, too, but I read it in a hurry. Uh, um, yeah, it's, it's horrible. No, their chaperone and himself. Oh, okay. I thought it was his wife. Uh, the he, shooter was estranged from his daughter's mother who had a restraining order against him. So that's probably why the mother wasn't there. Okay. Uh, do you think you think back? You think if you're gonna go nuts to do that, you think you would kill her? Yeah, I, I mean, mean, yeah, your kid's gonna end up in the system because you're gonna go to prison. But it's better than killing your own kids just to spite her, you know? Yeah. There really are sick people out there, and I don't mean sick like disgusting. I mean sick like that. There's something wrong with that man. He needed help. Yeah, in California, I'm pretty sure the healthcare is free, even though it sucks. Yeah, well, exactly. You make something free and it becomes abused very quickly. And uh, you wait in line behind the twisted ankle or something, you know? Yeah, and this guy, he... Yeah, this is just... It's not that surprising that this story came out of California. It really isn't. Because there are a bunch of crazy people that come from California. Give me as an example. Um, yeah, well, yes. You enlisted and you're on this show. There's definitely something wrong with you. Yeah, I'm, and I'm and I'm a dirty trainee, so. Yeah. Well, you're getting less dirty, at least. Yeah, you wipe that grease off every now and then, you know? So, okay. Brian's finally back in Virginia, and he's finally figured out how to get this show to work right, and he walks away as soon as we start. <laughs> and we started late, which I don't mind. Uh, he just didn't want to deal with me. Yeah, well, you know, he's uh, obviously a transphobe. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> obviously. <coughs> I am oh, keeping in my eye out for the State of the Union address. I think it starts in what, an hour? I heard 8.45. Brian heard 9. Uh, but just guessing the way Joe Biden's been doing speeches lately, probably tomorrow afternoon. Okay, no, he's got to get that nap and the beauty rest and then the morphine and shot I mean, followed by some methamphetamine just to keep him perked up. Boy, don't forget the oatmeal and Matlock, too. Yeah, yeah, he has to watch that Matlock marathon. Obviously. Uh, no, but he's been really late to a whole bunch of speeches in a row, hasn't he? Yeah. Like 45 minutes late? That's why, yeah, I stopped. that's why that's why that I, I, have, I have a theory. This is why that they're giving us multiple times. <laughs> so that one of them is probably going to be right. Yeah. Yeah. It's you give an infinite number of monkeys, <laughs> an infinite number of typewriters. One of them is going to be Shakespeare. I like what Tim Poole says. Uh, if you throw enough spaghetti at enough clocks, if one of them is going to be the right time. <laughs> I always thought that was pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> Joe Biden. Yeah, that'll be interesting. I was, I'll let anyone who is watching or will watch later know that we were actually talk, thinking about or discussing doing a uh, a live reaction of it, which we might, depending on what time it gets started. Uh, but yeah, I was tempted to start the show when that started. Yeah, that would have been. But I mean, if it went to 11, I'd be pissed. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think it's going to go to 11. Joe Biden doesn't have the energy for that. True. And it might just be two words. <laughs> it sucks. It might just be one word. He'll get up there, true down to shove the pressure. You'll see Kamala Harris run on stage, pick him up, and take him back to the home. Oh, my God. That sounds about right. Uh, I, I get a good laugh every time I hear it. True down to shove the pressure. I'm so glad I saved that. 
I don't even know how his handlers reacted to that one, and I no longer get the context of it. Oh, my favorite was people were acting like this was like a, a word. They're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I give him a standing ovation and stuff. You're like, he, he mumbled and sneezed. <laughs> I, I think it's oh. true international pressure. Mm. Let's hear it again and see what happens. True international pressure. I, I don't know. That's just a guess. Yeah. You know, the thing. Yeah. yeah. The pressure, I think the pressure is the last word. But I don't know what anything else is in this. That was, that was four days ago, five days ago. <laughs> yeah, did his brain fart and slip? I mean, Jesus. What what was that four days ago, five days ago about? Remember that when he said that? I think it was oh it was something to do with Afghanistan, right? Maybe. And he says, Oh, that was four days ago, five days ago. What you know, all I could think it was Hillary when she said, What difference at this point does it make? Like, Why do we have a legal system if it's already done? Oh well, it's like I killed my neighbor, he's already dead. What can you do now to stop me from killing him? <laughs> you know. We could stop you from killing other people. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Let's move on to disease and disgusting things. All right. Oh, wow, nice. There's a new HIV out there. Highly virulent. I thought we had a cure with because of the new MNR and mRNA technology that we we're going to be able to cure all this stuff. Okay. Well, that's still in its experimental stages, and that's only been used in our right tri states. Uh, two men and one woman have been cured of AIDS with this stuff. Okay. Uh, which is uh, not cured just AIDS. They have their their HIV negative, which is amazing. Um, but we're gonna. I'm trying to not bring this up over and over again because, because I want to talk about it a lot. But I've said it a couple times on the show. There's a weird AIDS that's been attached to this vaccine. And we're probably going to get a strike just because uh, that's you're not allowed to say this. But there has been there's been studies out there, and it's not AIDS like the traditional HIV AIDS, but it's an acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. And I'm one. I don't know what exactly. All, I'm not a doctor. I don't know exactly what all of it means, but I know that people have, have had it, some people have had issues with their immune systems after certain vaccines, and. It's been recently, and now they're saying there's a new HIV variant out there. And I wonder if there's any correlation. Maybe. I'm not going to speculate. That's kind of dangerous, especially if we're going to be getting a strike just for bringing this up. So, Well, I don't, we're not actually going to get a strike out. Shit, I meant to... I keep meaning to make this little like South Park style thing at the beginning of the show instead of our picture that's like... These people are drunk. They're stupid, saying stupid things, talking about stupid stuff. Don't take any of this crap seriously. <laughs> Don't watch it. <laughs> I keep forgetting to do that. Don't get your news from us. <laughs> okay. Definitely Please don't go. take. Definitely don't take financial advice from us either. <laughs> We're all internet retards. Okay, that's, that's pretty much the easiest way to say. I mean, when it comes to like. Private and personal lives, we are just like, dee, dee, dee. I don't know about that, but all right. Uh, okay, how about this one? I was referring to myself. All right. Okay, so oh, that was a while ago. Trudeau, they had the vote to extend emergency powers, but then Trudeau dropped it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, because well. he realized how bad it looked when he was. You know, using the emergency powers to begin with. This was not a violent protest by any means. Oh, especially when the um, the videos popped up again of him praising China for their dictatorship. You guys saw that, right? No. no? Just a... Oh, he was praising China the way they are. Uh, the, di the dictator, uh, being a dictator, oh, allowed yeah, him I to remember. turn the economy on a dime. Didn't Obama do the same thing? Say the same thing, basically. Uh, I believe so, but I, the, along I'm those not lines. sure. Honestly, That's... this doesn't surprise me. Coming from a man that died, cried when Fidel Castro, a dictator and a tyrant, died. 
You would cry if your father died too. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. <laughs> Fidel Trudeau. <laughs> I'm still amazed you hadn't heard that, Brian. No. Have you seen it anywhere else since? Actually, I think I have. Yeah, you probably heard it before, but never but took stock of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because I'm pretty sure No Agenda's mentioned it before. I'm surprised, though, that he doesn't have that olive complexion. Oh, no. in what? Canada. They don't get wow. a lot of sun in Canada. Good point. You do need the sun to, t- to tan. Ah. Uh, well, what's... what's interesting is his father was like, five nine his mother's like five one uh he's six four and fidel castro was six three <laughs> no, i'm not i'm not guessing anything here you know just pointing out weird things yeah uh all right so the okay oh the freedom convoy uh i don't know if there's much left to talk about the actual convoy in canada because that's pretty much done now right yeah, they all went home because they said that the the police their their interaction with the police just got really bad after they put the emergency powers in place. You know, oh, like they they froze everyone's bank accounts and cut them off from uh, commerce and uh, international trade. Yeah, like they invaded Crimea. I'm sorry, like they invaded Ukraine. Yeah, and now Belarus is jumping into the fray. That's not yeah. surprising. Well, they're a puppet state at this point in time, and the leader has called himself openly a dictator before. So, well, it's funny. My boss man asked me, uh, I think it was Friday. He's like, I don't follow a whole lot of what's going on in the world because it's just depressing. And it's like, all right, I get that because I know you follow this crap. Because why? Why is a war starting? And I was like, do you want the uh, the short version that's the narrative or do you want the whole two hour long what led up to all of this through the last 20 years it's like oh what will allow me to be in a conversation with someone else it's like oh putin's a dick and he wants to rebuild the ussr (laughs) he's like okay that's good enough for me (laughs) (laughs) and he's never lied he's never made you know he's never tried to hide that fact either no, well, he, actually, he never actually said he wants to rebuild the USSR. He said something like what, uh, something what's similar to what Reagan said uh, about something else altogether. But Reagan said, if you don't vote uh, liberal when you're young, you have no heart. If you don't vote conservative when you're old, you have no brain. That's pretty much what, huh? I thought that was a Winston Churchill quote. I think, you know what? You are right. I thought that as soon as I started speaking, I was like, that was Churchill, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, then. You, another great leader. How's that? Wartime leader. Putin said something like, um, one of the greatest tragedies of the 20th century was the fall of the USSR or something like that. He's like, but you're a fool if you want to try to rebuild build its former glory. Or something along those lines. And I was like, he never actually said he wants to rebuild it. He just made it sound like it's sad that it's gone. Mm, okay. Either way, well, we'll get into all that stuff. Well, we'll America's second favorite doctor came Sorry out recently that. and said that if every country does what Australia did, we'd have no next pandemic. Okay, so... Obviously, you mean Bill Gates. Yes. yes. Uh, <laughs> didn't Australia like go into people's houses and rip them out of their homes and put them in camps? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And if you flew into the country, you had to pay for your quarantine hotel, which added up to like thousands of dollars. Uh, I just I can't imagine someone saying if everyone just had concentration camps, the world would be better. Like. This stuff doesn't happen. They don't actually say get in the train car so we can gas you. You know that, right? No. Yeah. You just it's kinda... Not until we're way down the line. And it's very obvious that's what's happening anyway. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't like making Nazi references because it's too easy to do. But when they first started hauling the Jewish people out in train cars, it was to prevent the spread of disease. It really was. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, that's that was the narrative anyway. That was the story. Yeah, 
because they didn't say get in the car. So get in the car so we can gas you. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you you will work until you die. <laughs> and it just it blows my mind. Like, oh, that couldn't happen today. It's like, well, that's what they thought in the '30s too. You know. <laughs> Yeah, getting way off topic on that. Well, it doesn't take much for a, a power such as a parliamentary system to be overtaken and pretty much mm. um, turned into a well, fascist or tyrannical, because any form of government can be tyrannical, very tyrannical system. Yes. Yes. Uh, very easily. Especially when you give people emergency powers where they can just become a dictator because they said so. They don't even need permission from their own uh, other branches. And we're circling back to Trudeau. Yeah, I had to circle back to Trudeau because I just wanted to teabag him one more time. On that pretty face of his so I can get some of his pretty hair in my uh, to clean my butt. He would love it. <laughs> then Biden would sniff it. Big fucking wood. Joe, your hair smells like shit today. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> oh, I had a bunch of cheese. It was gross. <laughs> By the way, if you're lactose intolerant, do not eat an entire tub of port wine spreadable cheese. Yeah, that's oh, not God. a good idea. <laughs> Terrible things happen. <laughs> At least I was prepared for it. The people around me were not ready. <laughs> all right. All right. Why, why are we bringing up this people not wearing masks anymore? Like, I understand why we do. Because they're but, being hypocritical. These I people mean, were, they were forcing everybody to wear masks, 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 but then they don't do it themselves. They're not hypocritical because they never said that they should wear a mask. They think they're better than you and they know it. It's not even a double standard. The standard is you wear a mask, and when they get caught with that one, they they always have why it's okay for them to not wear a mask. But then you got Biden walking across the White House lawn all by himself, you know, 60 feet away from anyone wearing a mask. Did you see the... Yeah, but he were, he walks funny, too. Oh, that's because he had a dump in his pants. It looked like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I made a boom, boom. <laughs> I, I made a devlin. <laughs> Did you guys watch Just Go With It? Oh no, what's, yeah. yeah, just go with it. Yeah, that's pretty that's a funny movie. By the way, but Jennifer Aniston was like 50 something years old in that movie. She looked amazing in that bathing suit scene. I don't think I've seen the movie. What channel was that on? What channel is a movie on? <laughs> Probably that- lots of them. Netflix. Uh... You could probably get it on Netflix. I think it's on Hulu. Actually, no. Adam Sandler did a whole bunch of stuff through Hulu, I think. Or maybe no Hulu. Netflix. He's on Netflix. Okay, it's an Adam Sandler flick with the other woman in it is a uh, I don't know who she is, but she looks like a swimsuit Drew model. No, no, that that would have made sense though. No, but this woman looked like a swimsuit model. Like she just had that that perfect hourglass. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, the big butt, big chest, hourglass kind of, you know, swimsuit model kind of woman versus Jennifer Aniston, who's what, a size four. Yeah, I actually know women that have gone through surgery to get a better hourglass. Yeah, well, well, who is that one woman who did all the crazy Barbie surgery? She had like ribs removed trying to actually look like Barbie. No, oh, I know. It is on That's- Netflix. Oh, there damn. you go. <laughs> just was, it, was that the, was that the, the trailer? Scene? Yeah, when she comes walking out of, out of the water. Of water. <laughs> that's that's what I was talking about. <laughs> like I'm watching that tonight. <laughs> well, speaking of watching things, the State of the Union and people are coming in now. And but I just got to say, it looks like a trail of corpses that are moving of their own will coming in. I don't know how to do this. I wish we had figured out this out in advance so we could actually have a window or a box or whatever or have it have it playing right here for everyone to watch while we talked about it you know what i mean uh-huh. i don't know how to hold yeah hold on i might be able to find it and just put it as my face <laughs> my f- pocket just vibrated it's because el guapo put a post in 
Oh. He's watching us instead of this painting. <laughs> He's waiting That's for it. us to start commentating on it. Is that what he said? Yeah. <laughs> I don't. Even, I can't um, even get my TV to turn on. That sucks. Oh, there it goes. I probably turn the volume down. All right, let's move on while we uh, try to figure out what's going on with the State of the Union. Uh. <laughs> Speaking of the State of the Union, CDC, what, today went into effect? I believe so, yes. Like 70% of Americans can take off their masks now. Big surprise, big surprise. Yeah. People are just done with it. I mean, they're, I mean, I think they're trying to get rid of the masks as fast as possible so that when the next COVID variant comes out, they can slap the mask back on us real quick. Yeah. It's all like, I think I know somebody that quoted this a while back. It's a test of compliance. Yeah, I've, I've said that a couple of times, haven't I? Mm -hmm. They see how far they can push you. And uh, I specifically mentioned the drowning rat experiment on the show before. I don't know if you remember it. But when they put, uh, they did this test a long time ago. They put these rats in water and they would tread water for 15 minutes before they would give up and drown. Uh, but they found out if they took them out of the water right as they were about to die, uh, let them rest and let them eat. You put them back in the water, they would tread water for 24 hours because they had hope that they'd be saved. Huh. Yes. Fascinating stuff. And that kind of seems like what's going on. It's like, they wouldn't let you take your masks off just long enough that you think you'll be saved. Yeah. And if they get reelected, they're going right back on. We can set up another source, uh, but you'd have to have another account. I, oh, I don't even know or how to another do that. IP. <clears throat> my my account is actually available. I don't know how to get into it though, because I'm actually on Brian somehow. I renamed it, <laughs> renamed <laughs> it because we were both Brian McFadden for a while. <laughs> uh, actually, you could probably just click the link again and open up another one. I tried. It's just oh. under me here. Oh, that's even weirder. Oh, well, I wish them. that's too bad. Next producer. time something like this happens, we'll figure out how to do this stuff in advance instead of thinking of it an hour before the show starts. <laughs> What's up with this neurological thing you mentioned? I see it in there, and but it's, for whatever reason, the uh, I can't get into these epoch time things anymore. Um, there's a study that uh, um, that's being quietly done and not a lot's coming out about after people are getting vaccinated, they're suffering from neurology, neurological issues. Neurological? Yes, that word. I, I spoke in my remote control state of the union and a, a, Which a, they get? it's called state of the union. Uh, Is it a TV show? series of 10 minute episodes about contemporary relationships <laughs> that's not the right union <laughs> each episode is set in a pub immediately before tom <laughs> chris o'dowd and luis rosamond pike Criminy. i you have to hit the info button like four times <laughs> that might uh, be better than what the actual state of the union <laughs> oh here we go each episode is set in a pub immediately before tom and luis have their weekly marital therapy session <laughs> quality yeah that's not what i <sighs> i know it's gonna i just got an alert from paramount plus saying it was gonna be on on their streaming service under the cbs news channel okay well, cbs oh that's right paramount did buy up cbs didn't they yeah because i had the cbs all access now it's paramount plus yeah i get a lot more stuff with paramount plus now though mm -hmm. uh yeah, SEAL Team, NCIS. Oh, that's weird. They're both Navy shows. Oh, well. Yeah, Paramount's taking a, a couple minutes to load up. But what are these? Does it say what these issues are? I'm sorry to go back on this. Uh, let me go to the article. Oh. Uh, which is interesting because I didn't get a vaccine because I have a neurological condition. <laughs> You know what? I it's, should have realized it's, actually, it's a study being done by the FDA and the NIH 
Um, let's see here. Oh, geez, I have no idea what's even. Would it be on the CBS News, maybe? Or just live? I don't know how to get to the live stuff. Hi, uh, YouTube. Oh, YouTube. Oh, I actually have a live TV option on this thing. YouTube is pretty uh, easy to get find stuff. It really is. I see Ted Cruz and a bunch of people that look like they should have died years ago. That's most of government, man. And that's what drives me nuts about like war, for example, is you have a whole bunch of old rich dudes. Ambassador to the U.S. Facebook whistleblower. Oh, uh, a whole bunch of sorry. I don't know if you guys heard that. My I clicked on the State of the Union. That is a hideous woman in a hideous, hideous pantsuit. <laughs> Sorry. Was it Jen Pisaki? <laughs> no, no. It looked like uh, Feinstein's, like, cousin. They're saying that they're finding neurological symptoms that are just neuropathy, nerve damage, stuff like that. Weak limbs, vision loss. I, I did hear about the, um, on the No Agenda show, the winter vagina from the COVID vaccine. What now? Winter vagina. What's a cold pussy? <laughs> that, that, don't, leave my wife out of this. <laughs> and of course, uh, there's not the, for the man, there's the COVID dick, you know, so. I love how they oh we didn't play the video for it. I went to play the sound for us time when she was talking about COVID dick on NPR and she kept calling a COVID dick. I was like, You're a doctor. <laughs> like, can we call can we stop calling a COVID dick and laughing while you say it? Yeah. Well, it's like half hard and half limp. So I mean, it kind of looks like this, and when you smack it, it just swings back and forth. A whiskey dick. That's the same thing. You can't quite get it up, but it's like, you know, pushing rope. <laughs> ah, Joe Biden. Yeah, well, he hasn't got lost yet, at least. Well, I say that, but I'm looking at this and I still don't see his face. Well, I mean, I saw a straight version of Brian Stelter in there. Brian Stelter is completely straight. Super straight. Super straight. Looks like I'm a, on the, the Fox News channel feed now. and They got Tucker Carlson as a host. It's better than grab-ass Bill O'Reilly. Well, grab-ass Bill O'Reilly doesn't work at Fox anymore for a long time. Oh, and they got Greg Greenwald as a correspondent talking about it. You know, I'm not a... By the way, you get a lot of your news for this stuff from Fox News. I'm sure you've noticed that. <laughs> Yeah, because uh, all the other sources you say you can't get into. So I've had to stop using them. No, just the Epoch Times, I think. I I generally read like MSNBC and ABC, and I still think they're horrible. I still read Fox News, though. I, I read Fox News, and I but I have a uh, smart news app that'll give me uh, headlines from all. I hated that app. In order to read any of those articles, I actually had to download the stupid app. I had to download an app, yeah. And then I just... I, I don't need any more stupid apps on my phone. I already got too many. Oh, so you're going to use an app if you don't have the app. Oh, it's Kamala Harris and Nancy Pelosi are up now. Yep. Oh, jeez Louise. Did, but did you see Jill Biden call Kamala Harris the President of the United States? Again? I think this is the first time. No, Jill. Dr. Jill. Okay. Not Joe, because Joe's called her president twice, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah, his wife called her the president, too. And it's like, what's going on here? I saw the traitor. The traitor. He's still in uniform. He shouldn't be there. What? Oh, um, the guy that told on Trump about... Uh, he he retired. Trump. I thought that was the same fat bastard, didn't it? No, it's a new fat bastard. Uh, okay. no he idea. retired from the military. I wonder if we're watching the same thing. Like, I know... Mm, I'm on CBS. On sources. Yeah, I'm on, I'm exactly. on Fox. I, I wonder if it's the same camera angle, though. You know what I mean? Like, the same camera shot. I got a straight-on camera of... Uh, I'm behind him now. So am I. Uh, All right. Interesting. 
Okay. I'm watching NBC. <laughs> uh, all right, back to this COVID thing. That's right? unbiased news story. They're still yammering on. I don't think he's going to come on this uh, before nine o'clock. Well, I got a countdown over here. Oh, boy. I, actually, probably exactly nine o'clock then because it says President Biden speaks in seven minutes, 18 seconds, 17 seconds. So. Mm. I'll let you guys know I've got the dual screen going on. So you're gonna be able to figure out how to actually get the oh well, really you do is make him uh, he can share it. Yeah, she can share it. Let me make her you can do the same thing. You can just share it. Oh, actually the I second gotta, screen. We gotta give them permission to share a screen. That's you all. can just share your screen if you get it on your computer too. I, I was looking up how to do that. So oh share screen. It, it's on the bottom, it just says share screen. You want to go into basic. Then click on the the window the window you want, and then optimize for video clip. But he has to authorize you to do I already it first. Did. I made. We're all co-hosts and hosts now. This is. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny though. I seriously almost shot you guys a message this morning, like, "Hey, it's uh, State of the Union tonight. You want to just wait till it starts and do it then?" I, interesting. You went with Mystery Science Theater because the first thing I thought was the Muppets up in the balcony, <laughs> going, "It stinks." <laughs> I haven't watched Mystery Science Theater 3000 and it's not on anymore. Uh, oh yeah, well, well, you can still find episodes. Oh yeah. But in 20 years, like I don't think I watched the entire new series that came out. Uh, yeah, it was on Netflix, I think. So, all right. So, okay, there's no myocarditis attached to this COVID vaccine, right? Well, that's crazy. That's even weirder. I could see everything behind your YouTube screen. Because it's the way he shared it. I know. Hold on. Not now. Not now. Wrong. I had two. I had two open. There we go. There you go. Oh, you didn't get sound, though. No, I've got sound. I can turn it up. Okay, yeah. No, we can wait until it actually starts for that, then. Can you guys hear that? Yes. A little bit. Uh, kind of. Not kind. Well, kind of. Yeah, definitely not uh, like you're uh, sharing the sound. It sounds like you got a speaker going into a microphone. Okay, then I will work on the sound while we still talk. Yeah, right. we now I it. we've got closed captioning, so. Yeah, I don't know how to get out of this and get back to my my list of stuff to talk about. <laughs> you uh, gotta go to the the Google Doc. I know, but now my screen. Oh, there we go. So I somehow blew this thing up full size. Uh, Okay, so there's no myocarditis attached to this vaccine, right? That was just conspiracy theories and anti-science, right? Well, yeah, because now it says it may cut heart inflammation risk. Yeah, okay. I'm not buying that. Well, they're saying now uh, if you wait too long between your shots, uh, that's when you risk heart inflammation, not myocarditis. And I just laughed because it's like I thought myocarditis was not a side effect of this, even though it was written on the bottle. <clears throat> uh, oh my god, pandemic crap! Yeah. And yeah, and then they asked Saki about the mask mandates that we were bringing up earlier. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they keep saying the science changed, and that drives me nuts because the science didn't change. No, you, you're looking at it different. You're looking yeah. at different stuff. You you know you're finding new stuff, but also, it's not like hospitalization hospitalization rates are down, death rates aren't really down. None of this stuff's yeah. actually down, but they decided to look at use a different metric to decide whether or not you need to wear a mask. Okay, so since they made masks that optional, <laughs> I'm looking at the crowds. And I haven't found one single mask yet. Good point. Not one. Oh, what the hell? That lady looks angry. Boy, that woman looks like she's trying to get, on. She yeah. looks like she's about to get married. I don't know who that lady is. I don't know That's who probably the sergeant of arms or something. Oh, those I know, I know those the, people. Oh, the Supreme Court's coming back for the show now. Now that Trump's not president. And again, they all look like corpses. My pocket's exploding. What is going on? 
Oh, I'm getting a crap ton of stuff through uh, the messenger for this. Yeah, because Ray's watching the show on his TV. I thought he was commenting on the live feed. Maybe. All right. I didn't realize that. I was like, Do my you guys is see the sick fascist next to the Speaker of the House behind her next to the American flags? You talking about Pelosi? Dude, that dude has so much, so much a turkey neck. I want him to go gobble, gobble, gobble. All right. Can you get sound going or what? Yeah, I can. I turned right. it off. So, all right. That's cool. Command, then. That, it, it, yeah, so that's they, good. Uh, that's real good. And 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 they. Who they is that? Oh, sorry. Oh, that's who he's talking so about. <laughs> and obviously their presence too, taking on who? such Which guy? A, an important shade. Given the girl in the. Oh, there's a mask. I saw a mask. There's two yeah, masks. There's in the back. Oh, another one. We should have Biden. made this into a drinking game. You know what's hilarious? Oh, no. So so many people did. What is that lady wearing? <laughs> we might have to turn this down. There should be so much clapping. <laughs> Is that the? Is that the first that, lady? That's, yeah, yeah that's, I was going to ask the same thing. Is that Jill Biden? Yeah, that's Jill Biden. Doctor Jill Biden, with her. <laughs> everybody's waving the Ukraine flag. Oh, that's probably a Ukrainian dress that that lady's wearing. <laughs> if that was true, it'd be a potato sack. Oh, you notice though that a lot of these people aren't standing six feet apart. No. No. Not, well. You're not wearing a mask. I got it on my TV, too. Everyone's hugging each other. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Drinking game rules. It's, it's, uh, on it's Tuesday. Kamala, <laughs> yeah, it's Kamala Cackles. We have to go get a bottle and I'll fucking drink it. I'll, I'll get a glass of water. I'm not I'm not drinking a tie everything at any time, but I will take a sip every time uh, Harris Cackles or Joe Biden says something that's unintelligible. Okay. Uh, I can't wait for the debate. What's and anytime he, up? and anytime he tries to explain to us why inflation is good for us. Okay. Because he's gonna. All right, boys and girls out there, if you want to play, open a beer. It'd be a tough one. <laughs> I was way too drunk last night. I'm not gonna do it again. Ah, uh, I drink every night. That's not true. Not every night. Oh, oh, he's supposed to speak in one second. Putin, as we expect him to do in this speech night, as he has done so far. Yeah, especially because this is a speech oh, I see another man. Revised and revised and revised. That dude is grinning way to too much. To deteriorate. And that um, woman behind him looks like the Kool Aid Lady <laughs> with her red dress on. Like <laughs> get up there and go. Oh, yeah. Did yeah. I get all glitchy and slow for you guys, too? Uh, talking no. earlier about sort of no. Joe, President Biden having to connect with people and oh, tell that, a story. That bitch. People who have covered Joe Biden know he can tell a story. Yeah. All um, the Ukraine flag. He, he of, can of tell a story. Israel, That's right. He doesn't even know half the stories he tells. Lost children having lost a wife. Well, I heard <laughs> Biden actually uh, challenged um, Putin to, to a push-up competition, a and that that will settle this. Really That'll be fun to watch. Uh, you guys don't remember when he. Of the house or All right. Honestly, been Putin could kill him with a thumb. No, are you kidding me? Biden's going to handle Putin like corn pop. <laughs> corn pop. <laughs> Look, man. <laughs> He's going to take him outside the fence at the pool and swing his chain around. Ask. Oh! We should drink every time we see a mask. Oh, God, no. <laughs> I'm not drinking tonight. Like I said, I drank way too much last night. I stayed drunk all day. So. On the domestic front, yeah. record inflation causing I would if I could, but I have to like operate machinery and stuff. Come on, Mask. Cat. Overseas, I, I, the cat unplugged Brian's headphones, I think. Yep. Whoa. The nation tries what? To emerge from a uh, he just came in really loud for, nearly for my headset. Oh. I had to re-raise stuff. The cat was climbing around in the cables. All right, well, uh, as we're getting ready for this actual State of the Union to happen, uh, maybe we should kill the sound until he actually starts. Yeah. Awesome. While we're waiting on this here, <clears throat> This is supposed to be the most consequential speech of Biden's life. Uh, I, I'm not sure about that. What do you uh, think it is? I don't know, but Joe Biden. 
I do not want my children growing up in a racial jungle. In a jungle, a racial jungle. Oh, most yeah, people he, forget he actually said that, and you guys can look it up. That's a direct quote from him back in the '90s. Oh no, I've used it on this show actually. I don't want my children growing up in a jungle, a racial jungle. Yeah. What's it's that still, woman's name? The reporter. Guthrie, San, Susan Guthrie, or something. Samantha Guthrie? Yeah, that's I, it. I I don't know, but she's from MB, She's from the Today Show. I've I've seen her somewhere before. I, yeah, well, apparently the Today Show, or maybe probably on YouTube or something, with people cutting clips out and talking about stuff. Uh, I hope I have enough beer for the show. Yeah, I was actually. See, I picked up an eighteen pack, and I had two before we started, and two since we started. I'm not sure I'm going to make it through the rest of the show. <laughs> God, this is horrible. Uh, oh, there we go. There's the Capitol all locked down. What is it? Getting was ready for them truckers. You think they would use stocked footage, you know? Oh, I got, I got a breaking news alert from my... Uh, oh, no, never mind. It's State of the Union breaking news alert. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> we have a prediction from El Guapo. All right, what's that? It's going to be epic. <laughs> His speech. <laughs> that Miley? Oh, never mind. I got it on the, the CBS over here. It's the general or admiral, whatever that. I don't know. Lipstick on a pig guy. Yeah. <sighs> Which, if anyone's ever served, if anyone that hasn't served in the military is watching this, you could easily see a bunch of dumbass enlisted trying to put lipstick on a pig. About seven months into a deployment. Uh, I was about to say, a lot of guys did on the ship about seven uh, seven months into a deployment because, well, uh, four ten fours, right? Yeah. The fours at home, the tens at sea, the fours back at home. <laughs> and there's another strike. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, this is horrible. And you're banned. <laughs> Uh, Perino, oh, okay. da- Dana Perino, there uh, from Fox News, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She got her own show yet? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I only knew her. She had some of the show at one point. I stopped watching Fox News many years ago. I kind of read their articles now. Uh, Gutfeld was the only thing that was worth watching anymore. He passed yeah. away. Nice, oh, huh? He passed away. Greg Gutfeld? I think so. Really? Because, like, he's the guy on the five. He's the short guy that... He's funny. Yeah, if he passed away, I would have known. Yeah, he he used to be the uh, editor, or one of the editors at Maxim Magazine. Back when Maxim existed. Uh, but anyway, Perino, uh, She's pretty sure there's going to be a standing ovation today, but it's going to have nothing to do with Joe. Oh, there's Joe. He's 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 in the building now, at least, but that only on the CBS thing. Oh, oh they're covering Russia right now. So yeah, yeah, Zimini Island. Oh, by the way, that Snake Island, that Snake Island thing was a bunch of garbage. Apparently, apparently, all those guys were taken a uh, prisoner. Yeah, they're still alive. Yeah, they were all taken. They all surrendered, and. Uh, Apparently, the ghost of Kiev footage, because we even said, like, I don't know if this is real. The ghost of Kiev. Oh, there's another corpse. Like, that's yeah. an angry looking corpse. She has the same necromancy as Pelosi. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is weird. I don't know. I understand. Yeah, the, okay, th- there he is. This is on a big delay from the live on TV. We oh, expect that this walks. Can... There we go. Oh, right. okay. The president actually has an opportunity. Yeah, it's almost the same thing as the TV, but weeks ago, which is more people are going to tune into this. Who is You're that guy, and why is he wearing a bowl cut? Partisan audience, you know, the past few states of the I union. No bowl cuts are, are coming back. Steel, you see it. That's Chuck Todd. That's Chuck Todd. Watches That's his president. Ch- the other party. Doesn't. He looks like a penis. <laughs> with the uncertainty of what's going on in Ukraine, the uncertainty of the threat. Biden's not wearing a mask. The president has an. They don't have to anymore. Some people he hasn't perhaps been able to talk to in a while. Now, that's the. Was that challenge of Barrett? The speech is to, yeah, to is it mirrors like his eyes been getting squintier every freaking um, 
penetrating and, and getting oh them God, to listen to Oh, God, they're talking about penetrating. Yeah, see, I told you he looked like a penis. This is his wheelhouse. Okay, back to my joke. This is is what if he or is President Biden getting, like, squinty-eyed more and more lately. This moment to manage a crisis in Europe, so is, he's perhaps okay, well, hold on. What like, that ready wearing? for this moment. No, no, look at him. Um, he he so looks like somebody squirted his lemon juice in his eye. He looks like there's a dump in his pants. This is a moment for history. This is a moment where the president is likely to talk about the forces for democracy versus the forces of a dictator and said it in quite stark terms. I swear to and God. Like, oh, well, now he's confused. Like yeah, he doesn't know which one, which president. speech goes where. And wonder if Nancy Pelosi is going to rip his tear it up. I'm just going to say that. that. He's going to tear it up. I was going to ask that question too. Will now be resolved yep. because and they how, have how does that not piss off everyone? distinct honor presenting to you the President of the United States. I hear some booze, and there's Elizabeth Warren. And Savannah, this could be a rare moment of bipartisanship. He's hoping you need to show me how you the set kind that he remembers this. bipartisanship, hmm? politics stopping no. at the water's edge on foreign policy. It's very blue and yellow out there already in that crowd. You can see there was a lot yeah. of blue and yellow among members. And they're wearing pins, the Ukrainian flag with the U.S. flag. That's what the blue and yellow is. <laughs> yeah, the Ukrainian flag. Hold up. It's going to get started. I have lots of blue and yellow. Blue and yellow, blue and yellow, blue and yellow. Thank you. You guys don't want to do a lot of that, the hip hop stuff, do ya? Mask. Thank you all. Not the same mask, though. Thank you. Please. I think Joe's Thank confused. So Madam Speaker, Madam Vice President, and our First Lady and Second Gentleman. Members of Congress in the Cabinet, Justice of the Supreme Court, my fellow Americans. Last year, COVID-19 kept us apart. This year, we're finally together again. He's already spiking the ball. Told you. <laughs> He's yeah. spiking the ball. Prediction coming Tonight, true. We meet as Democrats, Republicans, and Independents, but most importantly, as Americans. With the duty to one another, to America, to the American like people, to the Constitution, surgery. and an unwavering resolve. You know the thing. That How much plastic surgery he had done? Over tyranny. Yeah, that's like seriously. He looks like it now. I can't. Freedom Already's always triumph over tyranny. Okay. How? How is he going to do anything about Ukraine? Because he's not done anything yet. He's not gonna. What, what tyranny is he talking about? Like forcing ago, people to put drugs in their body? Russia's Vladimir Putin sought to shake the very foundations of the free world, thinking he could make it bend to his menacing ways. Bend. But he badly miscalculated. He thought he could roll into Ukraine and the world would roll over. Instead, he met with a wall, a wall of strength he never anticipated. Incoherent. Imagine. Yeah, he that's a drink. The Ukrainian yeah. people. <laughs> This, oh, this is gonna be out of control. We should have said everybody would stand up here. So I can play with you guys. We should have said every time everyone uh, gets standing ovation. What is that giant thing? That's, I think that's the Ukrainian ambassador to the U.S. The one behind the woman? The world. Yeah. Groups of citizens blocking tanks with their bodies. Everyone from students to retirees to teachers Tiananmen turned Square. soldiers defending their homeland. And in this struggle, President Zelensky said in his speech to the European Parliament, light will win over darkness. The Ukrainian ambassador to the United States is here tonight, sitting with the First Lady. Let's no, the woman behind her is the, the stand, giant stand one. Send an unmistakable signal to the world. Yeah, look at that <laughs> giant... I know, I commented on that dress earlier. Oh, it's that hideous. crazy, ugly dress. dress. The only way it could be worse if that was an LGBTQIAARP dress, uh, flag on it, instead. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, it's the enormous. You could make a sale out of that thing. No, there, there's too much lace. It wouldn't hold things. True, tear apart. She's like, thank God I'm here, here, not Ukraine. Yeah. <laughs> States of America stand with the Ukrainian people. Blah, blah, no, you don't. Blah. Throughout our history, we've learned this lesson. 
When dictators do not pay a price for their aggression, they cause more chaos. They keep moving, and the cost, the threats to the America and America to the world keeps rising. That's why the NATO alliance was created, to secure peace and stability in Europe after World War II. The United States is a member, along with 29 other nations. It matters. American diplomacy matters. American Wait, resolve matters. Russia supposed to be upset Putin's that uh, Ukraine, Ukraine might become NATO? Like, that was the big deal that they said? And totally yeah. and they, they wouldn't border a NATO nation they needed to buffer? Repeated, repeated Don't Latvia and Estonia diplomacy. both he border the Russia? NATO would no, respond. He thought They're he all NATO. At home in this chamber, in this nation. He thought he could divide us in well, Europe Ukraine. Well. But Putin was uh, asked to join the EU. We so. are ready. Yes. We are united, and that's what uh, we do. Tim do. Allen needs to start united. doing Joe Biden impersonations. He could look just like him. Mm -hmm. When well, he's in the Santa Claus. Of other freedom loving nations in Europe and the Americas, to, from America to the Asian and African continents, to confront Putin. Like many of you, I spent the close caption hours sucks, huh? unifying your European yeah. allies. Mm -hmm. We shared with the world in what advance is Kamala looking what we at? knew Putin was planning. I don't think she knows. Precisely how we would try to falsify and justify his aggression. We countered Russia's lies with the truth. And now, <clears throat> now that he's acted, the three war free wars. In your face, she looks like she just smelled some shit. Along with 27 members yeah, of the exactly. European Union, including Pelosi's face would Egypt, look like that, but it's frozen. As well as countries like the United Kingdom, Canada, she's Japan, undead. <laughs> Korea, Australia, New Zealand, and many others, even Switzerland, hmm. are inflicting pain on Russia and supporting the people of Ukraine. Putin is now isolated from the world more than he has ever been. Together. Does he care, though? Together. Yeah, he's got China backing him right now, so. Probably North Korea. Yeah, Together, Iran. along with our allies, we are right now enforcing powerful economic sanctions. We're cutting off Russia's largest banks in the international financial system, preventing Russia's central bank that might be a from problem. defending the Russian ruble. ruble. Oh, shut her drink! $30 billion war fund yeah. worthless. We're choking Russia's access. I'm about We're to open another Russia's one. I just cracked one before it started. will sap its economic strength and weaken its military for years to come. Tonight, I say to the Russian oligarchs and the corrupt leaders who built billions of dollars off this violent regime, no more. I like how the close guys are just stops when they get really bad. <laughs> That thing looks weird. It. He looks like an old shadow version of the Mad Mad no, Mad 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 The United States Department of Justice is assembling a dedicated task force to go after the crimes of the Russian oligarchs. What's this have to do with the state of the union? Seas, their yachts, their nothing. luxury apartments, their private he's got That's the point. To focus on. We're coming for you or ill-begotten gains. And tonight, I'm announcing that we will join our allies in closing off American airspace to all Russian flights, further isolating Russia and adding additional squeeze on their economy. Oh, so make the man so he has nothing left to lose. That's a safe man, right? Yeah. The man with nuclear weapons. Who no has nothing left to lose. The ruble Am I the one who was thought value. about this? The Russian stock market no. lost 40% of his value and trading remains suspended. Russian yeah, that means you're not just, just hurting their military. That means you're hurting every Russian citizen. This is siege Together warfare, allies, and that's disgusting. We're providing support to the Ukrainians in their fight for freedom. You're starving the people. Military assistance, economic assistance, humanitarian assistance. We're giving more than a billion dollars of direct assistance to Ukraine, and we'll continue to aid the Ukrainian people as they defend their country and help ease their suffering. <clears throat> no, if you want to be involved, Put some ships over there and some soldiers and actually do something. Even that. Oh, she's leering at him. Yeah, well, you wave your stupid well, flags and you put lights on a statue like it's going to solve shit. Our forces are not engaged and will not engage in the conflict with Russian forces in Ukraine. See, our that means we're not doing not shit. going to Europe yep. to fight Ukraine, but to defend our NATO allies in the event that Putin decides to keep moving west. For yeah, that I, purpose, we have mobilized uh, American ground forces, air squadrons, 
ship deployments to protect NATO countries, including Poland, Romania, Latvia, Lithuania, and Estonia. And there you go. Crystal clear. <laughs> The United States and our allies will defend every inch of territory that is NATO territory with the full force of our collective power. Every single inch. He's not going to go into a NATO nation. He's going to take Ukraine. NATO, yeah, he's going to take probably Kazakhstan. Uh, and no one's going to do shit because they're not NATO. And we're clear-eyed. Yep. The Ukrainians are fighting back with pure courage. But the next few days, weeks, and months will be hard on them. Putin has unleashed violence and chaos. But while he may make gains on the battlefield, he'll pay a continuing high price over the long run. And a pound of Ukrainian people, the proud, proud people, pound for pound, ready to fight with every inch of energy. Okay, have. that feels like that was a no mess up that he tried to recover from. He tried to say pound of flesh. Shown yeah. That they will not tolerate anyone who tries to take their country backwards. To all Americans. I'll be honest with you, as I always promised I would be. Why is he yeah. keep saying I'll be Russian honest? How often does he lie then if he has to say a that? country has cost around the world. And I'm taking robust action to make sure the pain of our sanctions is targeted at Russian That's economy. a good one, Ray. And that we use every tool at our disposal to protect American businesses and consumers. Tonight, I can announce the United States has worked with 30 other countries to release 60 million barrels of oil from reserves around the world. America will okay. lead that effort. Okay, so are we going to start? We're going to 30 million barrels of our own strategic petroleum reserve. And we so the thing that Trump just filled up, when oil prices were low, he's going to give it all away. Blunt gas prices here at home. Yeah. But I know it won't do it. Won't make a, it won't make a change at all at the gas prices. But I want you to know. No, that's not what the strategic oil okay. reserve was ever designed for. Okay. No, it was designed for when to have fuel when the world ran out of fuel. Yeah. Of and for the military to use to do yeah. what the military needed to do. Well, that's what I mean. Is the United States would have oil when the world ran out of oil, not you and I. Well, it shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, and you. He's using it for the wrong reason, well, and he's using it to combat it. inflation, and well, that's probably the only so thing that we're going to get from around him the world to inflation. see what's at stake. The problem is, it's just going to make inflation worse once clear. that's gone too, because there's not even a reserve the left. Then you know, look, look what happened to Venezuela once, well, during socialism. A more unified West. But they ate up We've their reserve mostly, didn't they? Yeah, and the government, the world, even when it took over all the oil fields and the oil refineries, they couldn't run it like. And the battle the, between the civilian companies could, you know. Democracies are rising to the moment. They couldn't the produce oil fast enough. The side of peace and security. This is the real test. It's funny that we still buying time. oil from Russia. So let us continue to draw inspiration from the iron will of the Ukrainian people. To our fellow Ukrainian mm -hmm. Americans who forged a deep bond that connects I our two nations. I got a couple nations. Ukrainian American, well, we stand Ukrainian friends. You. We stand with you. Putin may circle Kiev with tanks. But he'll Keep. never gain the hearts and souls Dog of the whistle. Iranian people. He'll never, he'll never extinguish their love of freedom. Well had on. And he will never, never weaken mm. the resolve of the free world. Everything's a dog whistle. Why is it Kiev instead of Kiev? You know, honestly, if Russia really wanted to send a message, I, I, if I was Russia right now and they were doing this to me, and I knew that I could wipe out all of the American leadership in one me moment, tonight, I would do this. America that has lived through that, yeah, the hardest mm. years this nation has ever faced. The pandemic. The world might end if that happened, though. And so many yeah. families are living paycheck to paycheck, <clears throat> struggling oh, to keep up with the rising up, cost Joe. of food, gas, now we're moving housing, inflation. and so much more. Yeah, I mean, seriously, I understand his son, like many of you do. His son smokes oh, more meth than all of us. And I his son from Scranton, year. Pennsylvania, to find work. Is he going to tell us this is good for us? Yeah, he grew up in a family in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Here we go. It had an impact. That's when one of the first things I did as president was fight to pass the American Rescue Plan. Because people were hurting. We needed to act, and we did. Few pieces of legislation have done more at a critical moment in our history to lift us out of a crisis. It fueled our efforts to vaccinate the nation and combat COVID-19, delivered immediate economic relief to tens of millions of Americans. Including prisoners. Put food on the table. Remember those long lines of cars Mitch waiting for hours just to try to start a standing. Our check was about to start a standing ovation. It cut the cost of health care insurance. 
And as my dad used to say, it gave the people just a little bit of breathing room. Unlike the $2 trillion tax cut passed in the previous administration that benefited the top 1% of Americans, the American Rescue Plan... He's out of his mind to say that. The American Rescue Plan helped working people oh, wow. and Good left call. no one behind. My God, no, but here's the problem. Trump had the best economy ever, and that was not Obama's doing. And that was Trump's doing. He came Trump in gave here. us a tax cut, and he said, fuck that guy for making you pay less tax. <laughs> yeah. They, I got more money every week, and I got a refund when Trump was in office. It worked. We created jobs, lots of jobs. In fact, our economy created over six Point five million new jobs just last year. That's because oh, you had to go back to They're not year. really new jobs. Let me go back to work. It's not a new job. The economy grew at a rate of 5.7 last year, the strongest growth rate in 40 years. That's because we had to go first step in bringing fundamental change to our economy. Oh, this, this hasn't cocaine, worked Mitch. for working people in this yep. nation for too long. <laughs> he looked so blank. He, years, he blinked. <laughs> we were told. A tax break for those at the top and benefits would the trickle down and everyone would, would benefit. But that trickle-down theory led to a weaker economic growth, lower uh -huh. wages, bigger deficits, and a widening gap between the top and everyone else. And then and nearly a century. Ah, oh, damn it. Look. There you what? go. Vice President Enjoy, boys. And I ran for office, and I realize we have fundamental disagreements on this, but ran for office with a new economic vision for America. Invest in America. Educate Americans. Grow the workforce. Build the economy from the bottom up and the middle out, not from the top down. Because we know. Because That's we bullshit, know. That's bullshit, though. You don't do anything to help the actual people that work. But most people still Standing aren't back to work. Because we know the, the middle class grows. Dumbest women in the middle it. class grows, the poor of a way up, and the wealthy do very well. America used to have the best roads, bridges, and airports on Earth. And now... Our infrastructure is ranked 13th in the world. That's because of the we'll be able to states. For the jobs the, the states have to maintain no the roads, right? That's why it was so important. <sighs> Where's your husband? The roads, the rails. The rails. And I thank my they get money from the federal government, but they're supposed to do it themselves. To invest and rebuild America. The single biggest investment in history. What is he looking to do, though? He's not going to go into that. He's worked yeah. to make it happen. How, how can you... Talking about an infrastructure fix it. Week. Fix what? We're now talking about an infrastructure decade. And look. What? Infrastructure decade? Yeah, does anyone get vibes from, like, you, the old school USSR? We're going to modernize this economy. Okay. Put a tractor on every farm. Uh, 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 1980 century. called. Uh, they, face with the rest they want the foreign policy. China. <laughs> I told Xi Jinping, oh. it's never been a good bet to bet against the American people. We'll create good jobs for millions of Americans. Oh, no. Airports, looks ports, waterways all across embarrassed. America. And we'll do it yes. to withstand the devastating effects of climate change and promote environmental justice. It's like, I'm not getting paid we'll enough to be here. National network of five yes, he is. Electric vehicles he absolutely is. Began to replace the poisonous lead pipes so every child, every American has clean water to drink at home and at school. We're going to provide, provide affordable, High-speed internet for every American, rural, suburban, urban, and tribal communities. 4,000 projects have already been announced. Many of you have announced them in your districts. And tonight, I'm announcing that this year, we will start fixing over 65,000 miles of highway and 1,500 bridges in disrepair. Uh, Folks, it, why is this the federal government's job? It's not. I mean, the the interstate system technically is the government's, right? That was FDR, when I think, or yes. Teddy. Taxpayers' dollars to rebuild America. We're Most bridges aren't the federal America. government's issue, though. Buy American products. Support American jobs. How? The federal government. You guys make it so expensive that every other American moves out of this country, country safe and secure. 
their business. Buy American products. Do you have any idea how much American products cost? Sure we have to pay people fifteen dollars an hour to make this shit. Twenty four at Target. Democrat and Republican in New York says they'll do it, but we're actually we're actually doing it. We'll buy. No, you're not. To make sure every everything from the deck of an they bought American when they got those COVID tests. Highway guardrails is made in America from beginning to end. All of it. That's of it. bullshit. That's, that's Trump impossible. made a big deal about making shit in America, and they said he was fucking nuts, and we need globalism, right? Folks, yeah. I, all right, I got to move my phone. It's under my. I'm sitting on it. And it's of the future. We're also tickling your ball. Playing field. Yeah, it's becoming too exciting. China <laughs> and other competitors. How are you That's doing, right? So <laughs> That's just making it excited. <laughs> and we'll make record investments in emerging technologies and American manufacturing. We used to invest almost 2% of our GDP in research and development. We don't now. Can't. China is. Let me give you one example why it's so important to pass. If you travel oh, my God. So he's actually Ohio, going to start quoting Trump to sound like he's doing a good job? Land. It won't look like much. He's blaming China. We need to build to stuff closer, in America. America first. Oh, dreams. my God. The ground in which America's future will be built. That's where Intel, the American company that helped build Silicon Valley, is going to build a $20 billion semiconductor mega site. Up oh, to okay. Eight so it's going to take 10 years to build it. In one place. We won't have cars for a decade. 10,000 new jobs. And in those factories, the average job about $135, $135,000 a year. Damn it. Some of the most sophisticated manufacturers in the world yep. to make com Why? computer chips the size of a fingertip. The power no, of the world in everyday but lives. All right. From smartphones, technology, the, the internet, technology is yet to be invented. Dress is but that's just the beginning. Intel CEO Pat Gelsinger was here tonight. I know where Pat is. Pat, there you go. Pat, stand up. Oh, please be ambiguous. This is not in a wheelchair. Pat, is that woman standing in her chair? Can't tell. Yeah, I think so. Pat no. came to see me and he told me that it's like seven feet tall, man. From 20 billion to 100 billion. That would be the biggest investment in manufacturing in American history. And all they're waiting for is for you to pass this bill. So let's not wait any longer. Send it to my desk. I'll sign Never it. Never going to happen. And we'll they really should, take off. It's an American they corporation. Want. They want to invest that much money in their business, and they should invest that much money in their business. They don't need taxpayer dollars to do it. They don't need taxpayer dollars. They're my, my grandchildren's tax dollars. <clears throat> Bill wants to spend more money? An amazing story. The rebirth of pride that comes from stamping products made in America, the revitalization of American manufacturing. Companies are choosing to build new factories like here Trump. when just a few years ago they would have gone overseas. That's because of Trump's policy. That's what's happening. Ford is investing $11 billion in electric vehicles, Ford. creating 11,000 jobs. Maybe not the electric vehicle country. part, but. GM is making the largest investment in his history, $7 billion to build electric vehicles, creating 4,000 jobs in Michigan. Cars that nobody really wants to buy. Three hundred and sixty-nine charged by coal power jobs are creating America. Yep. Or natural gas. Yeah. Gasoline. Oh. Gasoline is cleaner than coal. Oh. Gasoline is cleaner than the electric batteries that don't decompose. And you have to strip mine an entire country to get the Powered lithium to people uh, I've build. Met like Jojo Burgess yep. from generations of union steelworkers in Pittsburgh, who's here tonight. Where are you, Jojo? There you go. Thanks, buddy. Jojo. As Ohio. Hey, it's Mojo Jojo. As Ohio Senator Sherrod Brown says. Powder Puff Girls. Yeah. Mojo Jojo. Says it's time to bury the label Rust Belt. It's time to see the. the what yep, drink. used to be called Rust drink. Belt. Yep, that's drink. the brain part. <laughs> the, 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 the home. Of, of, of significant the fuse is good enough. Come on, Eric. That's a shit. I'm waiting for him to ask why he's here and what's going on. Your job growth, higher wages, too many families. Look, she has that look of, oh, shit, the drugs are coming. He's coming down. Actually, 
I'm going to give him some credit because he's not reading a screen. They would be able to feel. Obviously. He is. He's reading the teleprompter. Well, there's like three of them on that. Yes, there they is. Could, they could Our well be. Roared back faster than almost anyone predicted. Well, at but least he's finding where he was speaking. Businesses had a hard time hiring enough people because of the pandemic to keep up production in their factories. So you didn't have people making those beams that went into buildings because they were out. The factory was closed. The panic also disrupted the global supply chain. Factories close. When that happens, it takes longer to make goods and get them to the warehouses, to the stores, and go prices go up. You told them they weren't One allowed to work. <laughs> One yeah. third of all the inflation was because of automobile sales. There weren't enough semiconductors to make all the cars that people wanted to buy. Yeah, they're all in Taiwan. What? Prices of automobiles went way up, especially used vehicles as well. But yeah, my brother-in-law just so bought like a, a six-year-old uh, F-Series pickup truck. To drive down wages and make America he paid poor. sticker price for well, uh, the same price the guy who bought it paid for it. Lower your costs, my brother just bought a $71,000 Tahoe. New? Yes. Folks, I just can't imagine buying a six-year-old truck, whatever, however old it is, and paying like $65,000, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. I've been that furious. <laughs> make more cars and semiconductors in America. More infrastructure and innovation in America. He sounds more just like Trump now. Moving faster and cheaper in America. He sounds like a white supremacist. More jobs where you can earn a good oh, yeah. living in America. And a Nazi. Instead of relying yeah. on foreign oh, supply but chains, let's you make You've got to pass this bill in order for all this to happen. So we can have Nazism in the United States? Well, I just can't Thomas. wait for him to go. It's going to be great. It's going to be huge. Still back then, it's going to be big. Trust me. You can ask anyone. People Let's often make it do. in America. Economists. Yeah, there's a straight brand. The productive capacity of our economy. Look, of our economy. You guys don't watch Doctor Who. I call it building a He looks like a solarian. <laughs> like weird potato people. My plan to fight inflation <laughs> will lower your cost and lower the deficit. Mm -hmm. 17 Nobel laureates in economics said my go. plan will ease long-term inflationary pressures. Top business leaders, and I believe most Americans support the plan. And here's the plan. First, cut the cost of prescription drugs. Like Trump did. <clears throat> we pay <clears throat> more for this, the same So to get cheers, he quotes by the Trump. Same company in America and any other country in the world. Just look at insulin. Oh my God! Trump used One insulin in as an example. <laughs> yeah. In Virginia, I met a 13-year-old wow, boy and a handsome young man standing up Trump. there, Joshua Davis. Now, if we point this out to people, will they believe us? No. He and his dad. They think this is like a new idea. Diabetes, which means they need this insulin. Oh, really amazing! He brought out a kid. He brought out a kid. Insulin costs about ten dollars a vial to make. That's what it costs the, the pharmaceutical company. But drug companies charge families like Joshua and his dad up to 30 times that amount. I spoke with Joshua's mom. Imagine what it's like to look at your child who needs insulin to stay healthy and have no idea how in God's name you're going to be able to pay for it. Get a real job that has insurance. Family, but what it does to your dignity. Right. Your ability to look your child in the eye. To be the parent you expect yourself to be. I really mean to think about that. That's what I think about. No, you, you know, don't. Yesterday, Joshua's here tonight, but yesterday was his birthday. Happy birthday, buddy, by the way. <clears throat> For Joshua and 200,000 other young people with type 1 diabetes, let's cap the cost of insulin at $35 a month so everyone can afford it. You can't even hurt these companies and that are having to pay the FDA. They'll well, stop, no, they'll stop making. Margin. People yeah. will stop making the drug. Right. It'll be less available, great and it'll cost more. This. Let's let Medicare negotiate the price of prescription drugs. Why don't we do what Mexico does? Look how cheap their drugs are. They already. You can just walk in and buy Percocets. Drugs. Look, the American Rescue Plan is helping millions of families with Affordable Care Act plans to save them $2,400 oh, a year on their health premiums. Let's close the coverage gap and make these savings permanent. And second, 
Let's cut energy costs for families. I agree with that, but how? Five hundred dollars a year by yeah. combating climate change. Let's climate provide change. Provide an investment tax credit to weatherize your home and your you know, business. You know, we might reduce energy, energy costs if we started making get a tax oil again. For it. Double America's clean energy production in solar, wind, and There so you go. More. They're trying to go the wind and solar. Vehicles, yep. another $80 no nuclear. A month what if it's cloudy not and the not country? windy? Folks. And there's no way to store the, 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 the energy, the excess energy. Well, I mean, and you'll yeah, save $80 yeah, a month at the pump by not getting gas with your electric car. They don't say how much it's going to cost you to charge it a month. Yeah, they don't tell exactly. They don't tell you what it costs your electric bill going up. At the pump, but what's the total difference, you know? If you live in a major city in America, you pay up to fourteen thousand dollars a year for child care per child. I was a single dad for five years, raising two kids. I had a lot of help though. I had a mom and when dad, did the Simpsons come out? A brother and a sister <laughs> that really helped. In the thirty years ago? Some working folks yeah, something like that. Shouldn't have to pay more than seven percent of their income to he care was, for uh, their own children. A man without a college education who supported a family of five with a job by himself. What happened? Parents, including millions of women who left the workforce during the pandemic because they couldn't afford to be president of the United States to be able to get back to work, generating economic growth. I'm saying a single job, a non-educated, college-educated person used to be able to support a family of five in this country with one job. All these will lower costs for families. The thing is, you doubled the workforce by encouraging women to work. I know that sounds like an asshole thing to say, but you doubled the workforce, therefore half the cost of labor. Now everyone has to work. Bullshit, to it. I may be wrong. Oh, again, he's quoting Trump. Taxes well, aren't going to go up. They're going to go down. Ballot in this floor that we'd all agree that the present tax system ain't fair. I kind of want to smoke this crack pipe. We have to fix it. Right here, but I think the wife's going to yell at me. I'm not going to punish anybody. But let's make corporations and wealthy Americans start paying their fair share. Look, last year... Oh, oh what's your boy. Get, There's your girl. Oh, ah. got turned There's your senator. Pocahontas. And like Chris Coons and Tom Carper and my distinguished congresswoman. What's considered a wealthy American? They come from the land of corporate America. Fifty thousand a year. There are more corporations huh? incorporated in America like than every about other state in America combined. Yeah. And I still work thirty six Oof. years in a row. It's a lot of money. The point is, yeah. even they understand that's that you pay tax, tax just a fair share. Like Last year, fifty five of the well, when Whoopi Goldberg found out that she was uh, a wealthy American. She got all sorts of pissed off and said we shouldn't be doing this tax the wealthy thing. It's like I only make three hundred thousand a year. It's like that's bitch. <laughs> that's like nine times the average American. We got, and that's why in the G7 and other meetings overseas, we're able to put together. I was able to be somewhat helpful. A hundred and thirty countries agreed with global minimum tax. I was able to be somewhat helpful. So companies can't get out of paying their taxes at home. That's because people laughed at them, and they overseas. felt better, and they had a better conversation laughing at Joe. Of dollars. <laughs> That's why I proposed closing Stress loopholes the for the very wealthy who don't pay, who pay a lower tax rate than oh. a teacher and a firefighter. Stutters. So that's my plan, but we have to go more detail later. I'm going to grow. We will grow the economy, lower the cost of families. So what are we waiting for? Let's get this done. We all know we can't even get your own party to agree to it. Look at Harris. Oh, she, look at, she looks so pissed off that she's not president. And while yeah, you're at it, he looks grouchy. Confirm my nominees for the Federal Reserve. She's at her period. Plays a critical My nominee for the Federal in Reserve. Inflation. That, that is what he said, right? Lower cost yeah. And give families a fair shot. I wasn't that aware was, that he had a nominee the for the Federal Reserve. The that was weeks ago, though, wasn't it? We blew the deficit uh, with those maybe. tax cuts for the very wealthy I don't remember it. It undermined the watchdogs, the job of those to keep pandemic relief funds being wasted. Remember we had those debates? By the way, why is the president involved with the Federal Reserve? Isn't that a private day, company? How much money was being spent? Where was it going to the right place? <clears throat> in my administration, the watchdogs are back. And we're going to go after the criminals who stole billions of relief money 
meant for small business and millions of Americans. And tonight, I'm announcing that the Justice Department will soon name a chief prosecutor for pandemic fraud. <laughs> Look, I think we all agree. Thank you. By the end of this year, the deficit will be down to less than half of what it was before I took office. Right. The only president Ow. ever to cut the deficit by more than one trillion dollars in a single year. He just lowering your cost. Tried to double it, didn't he? Demanding more competition. Yeah. I'm a capitalist, but capitalism in one year is not. Capitalism. Capitalism without competition is exploitation. That's that's absolutely true. I'll give him that one. Yeah. But you get a million, no, uh, infinite Before amount of money typewriters. Well, the problem is if the government the gives people money, your prices go that's not competition anymore. That's an so advantage, right? Family farmers yeah. and ranchers. I need not tell some of my Republican friends from those states. Oh, well, Guess talk what? to Bill Gates. Got He's got more farmland than anybody. Facilities. That's it. Yeah, and I'm you afraid he's going to get rid of the beef all. in general you and feed us impossible more. meat. A hell of a lot no, more because uh, of fire and sodium. See what's happening in Hershey County. Heart 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 and it. moving goods in and out of America during the pandemic. By the way, stop uh, taking zinc, a zinc supplement. Uh, when the radiation hits like from the nukes, it'll help you thyroid so that you don't die from the radiation poisoning very quickly. I'm not saying I cut down on those companies overcharging American Well, iodine's good for cleaners. Folks. Yeah. Oh, and as Wall Street firms take over more nursing homes, quality in those homes has gone down. And That's because Cuomo killed them all. That ends on my watch. Okay. Medicare is going to set higher standards for nursing homes. Oh, so the government's sure getting involved get with nursing homes, they too. Deserve and that no, they just stop putting you, stop closely. sending you... Loved ones to these shitty places, right? They'll go out of business. That's capitalism. Provide yeah. more training and apprenticeships. Hire them based on skills, not just their degrees. He just cards reason though. Let's pass oh, the competition. We're going to stop baby. competition. Yep. Raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour. And extend oh. the child tax credit. Both of you guys so have no lived in Virginia. Family in poverty. Uh, what would program, happen if minimum wage in Virginia is 15 CCUs. bucks? Everything else is going to be more expensive. Yep. And what Jill, our first I got by on seven fifty an hour in Virginia. Kept secret, if you double, colleges. the EMTs were making fifteen Look. bucks. Are the EMTs now making minimum wage, or do we have to double their the pay? Everybody's pay goes up. So, uh, so basically, we just raised the floor. So now there we go. We're talking about Dr. Biden and community colleges. Up in the middle, out together, we can do something we haven't done in a long she shuts them down. Build a better America. For Bob, more than two years, Bernie's COVID wife, has impacted it? every decision in our lives and the life of this yeah. nation. And I know you're tired. Warren, is that a, oh, she's got a sunflower on. That Just wait, you'll see it in a second. Close to a million people who sit at a dining room table or a kitchen table and look at an empty chair because they lost somebody. Or maybe they got more chairs and people in the house. Because of the progress we've made, because of your resilience and the tools that we have been provided by this Congress. Tonight, I can say we're moving forward safely back to a no, norm, more normal routines. Uh, we've drink. reached a new moment in the fight against COVID-19, where severe cases are down to a level not seen since July of last year. Just a few days ago, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention issued a new mask guidelines. Under the new guidelines, most Americans- We've already addressed this tonight. Country, we got to wear them on the plane still. With the, the cleanest filtration system on the planet. Based on projections. Unless you're in an actual viral lab. We'll reach a point across that point across the next couple of weeks. And thanks to the progress we've made in the past year, COVID-19 no longer need control our lives. I know some are talking about living with COVID-19. But tonight, I say that we never will just accept living with COVID-19. We'll continue to combat the virus as we do other diseases. And because this virus mutates and spreads, we have to stay on guard. Here we go. And here are four common sense steps as we move forward safely. So isn't the common cold in the flu? First, stay protected with vaccines and there you treatments. Go, get your vaccines. We know how incredibly effective Malaria vaccines pills. are. 
If you're vaccinated and boosted, you have the highest degree of protection. And we'll never give up on vaccine. That's not true. Days. If you have natural well, immunity, it's kids better. Kids are eager to yeah. see their vaccines Up to six authorized times better, and that's directly from the Scientists CDC. Scientists are working hard to get that done. We'll be ready with plenty of vaccines if and when they do. We're all ready. <clears throat> we are also ready with antiviral oh, treatments. If you get COVID-19, the Pfizer pill reduces your chance oh my God, of this is gonna be the rough. hospital by 90 percent. And I'm not more stopping more between half to drink. <laughs> Pfizer's working overtime to get us a million pills this month and more than double that next month. And now we're I got to laugh how though, how this extreme. vaccine is giving people a uh, so COVID dick the pharmacy and if they prove positive the company that makes the boner pills, pills. on the spot <laughs> at no cost. And folks, <clears throat> it's a cost. Just because we don't pay for them, the government's paying for them then. But, but that means we're Pfizer, Pfizer is still getting rich off this stuff. Well, what it means is that the people that actually go to work every day are paying for it. We're leaving no one behind or ignoring anyone's <laughs> needs. As Here comes the quality forward. mass. On testing, we've made hundreds of millions of tests available, and you can order them for free to your doorstep. And we've already ordered free made tests. Made in China. We've already ordered free tests tonight. I'm announcing you can order another group of tests. COVID, go to covidtest.gov starting next week and you can get more tests. Second, we must prepare for new variants. Over the past... So he's already prepping you to put your mask back variants. on after this. Yeah. If necessary, yeah. we'll be able to develop new vaccines look, look, in 100 days. We are fucking geniuses, dude. Years. And if Congress presides the funds we need... We've been predicting this shit for a while. This is exactly what's going to happen. Mask, pill, uh -huh. ready no, you're crazy. Hey, look, it happened. I can't promise Whoa, who could have seen that coming? Wrong. But I can't, I can't promise you <laughs> we'll do everything within our power to be ready if it does. Third. <clears throat> we can end the shutdown of schools and businesses. We have the tools we need. It's time for America to get back to work and fill our great downtowns again with people. People working from home can feel safe. I think what was doing the closed caption has been drinking as much as us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> NBC, you have somebody drunk on staff. Are open. Let's keep it that What's way. What's pathetic our is all the news safe. networks have copies of the speech or the actual speech. Well, that should be an easy thing. Just type it up in advance, right? Yeah. She looks like she's got a major stick up her butt. Seventy-five percent of adult Americans fully vaccinated, and hospitalizations down by seventy-seven percent. Most Americans like, can remove their masks <laughs> and stay in the classroom and move forward safely. I feel a terrible we thing. That Pelosi's neck is less disgusting than Harris's neck. Yeah. And mask. Of course, that's that sad. This cost Maybe the you're looking at that. Surprise, we'll be back to see you. Huh? Maybe the ne necromancer I'm, hasn't gotten I'm to her neck yet. To Congress. And sure, he hasn't used all of his magic yet. These tools. We need to may sacrifice another again. child. We may need him again, so I expect Congress, and I hope you'll pass that quickly. For all magic comes at a cost. Continue vaccinating the world. We've sent 475 million vaccine doses. To I'm 112 not even going to tell countries, you that reference. More than any uh -huh. nation. I'm not even going to tell you that reference. We won't stop. Because you can't the build a wall high enough to it's keep out a, 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 a vaccine. Drink. The vaccine can stop <laughs> yes, dude. the spread. I pray, Drake. <laughs> you know, we've lost so much in COVID-19. Time with one another. The worst of all, the much the loss of life. Let's use this moment to reset. So stop looking at reset COVID instead of reset. Of <laughs> yeah. Re great reset. See it for what it is. A god awful disease. Let's stop sending each seeing each other as enemies and start seeing each other for who we are, fellow Americans. Look. As you kicked out all of your unvaccinated people from the service. Yeah. And demon. Well, look at Maxine Waters, man. I'd rather not. <laughs> I don't want to either. That, that lady's we like can't change crazy, how to crazy how to fan. It was a long time in coming. But we can change how to move forward on COVID-19 and other issues that we must face together. 
until you sit here and do this all, until this is over. Days after the funerals of Officer Wilbur Mora and his partner, Officer Jason Rivera. They were responding to a 911 call worse. when a man shot and killed them with a stolen gun. Oh. Officer Moore was 27 years He's old. Officer Rivera control. was 22 years old. Of course old. he is. Both Dominican Americans who grew up in the same state. As they're excited that they are uh, Ukrainian people, the Ukrainian people have officers. automatic rifles. I spoke with yep. their families. How can you I possibly we're forever in debt for double speak of like this? And we'll carry on their right, instead of saying talking about both sides of your mouth, I'm going to go uh, full on Orwell. This is double like speak. Some of you that have been around for a yep. while. I've worked with you it's on hypocrisy. these issues for a long time. What's that? It's hypocrisy. I know it works. Investigating crime prevention and community policing. So I'm glad they have guns to protect themselves. To You're not allowed to have a gun. Why we not? Can restore trust and safety. The Fuck you! <laughs> in our streets, or choose between safety and equal justice. Let's come together and protect our communities, restore trust, and we're not defunding the police anymore. Camera. That's why the Justice Department. Oh, and you no, saw that uh, the, the Democrats are putting up a uh, response to the Biden speech. That's why the American Rescue Already? Plan. And yeah, the they're going to have Rashid Tlaib give the Democratic the response, which is unheard of. Normally, to hire more the party in control, the presidency, strategy. does not do a rebuttal. To the president, the State of the Union address. Well, he we said ripped off the State of right? the State of the Union address. They had to respond to it. Democrats, not Republicans. Community violence interruption. Yeah. Trusted messengers breaking the cycle of violence and trauma. Is it Rashida Tlaib? Giving young people yeah. Some hope. yeah, she's part of the squad. We should all agree yeah. the answer is not she's to fund the police. She's going to say something stupid. It's to be hilarious. It's to fund the police. Fund them. Whoa! Oh, we're funding the police. Here we go. Is this is what got him elected. And he said, fuck that, they're wrong. And and Kamala Harris is all about it, too. Resources and training they need to protect our communities. The police. I ask Democrats and Republicans alike to pass my budget and keep our neighborhoods safe. And we'll do everything in my power to crack down on gun trafficking of ghost guns that you can buy online, assemble at home, no serial numbers. Can't be traced. Those are illegal. I asked Congress to pass proven measures to reduce gun violence. Pass That's universal background checks. Let's make a law. Make this Why legal. Well, it already is. On yeah. the terrorist list, be able to purchase a weapon. Why? Why? Because Joe Biden, you've been on the terrorist <laughs> terrorist list before. That's why. Because Man, everyone gets put to that list. Capacity magazines hold up a hundred rounds. You think the deer are wearing Kevlar vests? No, but no, I need to heard this ground. before. No, I'm worried about you, you fucking asshole. The only industry in America that can't be sued. The only one. But we're so glad Ukraine has automatic rights. You can't, you can't sue, so, you can't sue the pharmaceutical industry either. These laws don't infringe on a second Fine, amendment. Fine, I'm gonna sue McDonald's for making me fat. The most and fundamental right yeah, in America is the right to vote. Yeah, you can't sue freaking Jack and Daniels. And look, you fuck it's under assault. You know what I mean? State after state, new laws have been passed. Not only to suppress the vote, we've been there before, but to subvert the entire election. Here comes his federal this voting happens. rights thing. Tonight, I call on the Senate to pass, pass the Freedom to Vote Act, pass the John Lewis Act, Voting Rights Act. And while you're at it, pass the Disclose Act. So Joe keeps making it sound like his election was, uh... Look, Illegitimate Tonight, because we have to make sure this stuff's I'd, secure. I'd like to honor someone who dedicated his life to serve this country. Justice Breyer, an army He's veteran, have a heart attack. Watch. constitutional scholar, retiring justice of the United States Supreme Court. Justice Breyer, thank you for your service. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, maybe not. I mean it. Get up, stand up and see you. Thank you. We all know. You guys no know this is the person he nominated. We all know one of the most serious uh, constitutional responses. Has a name uh, to replace his men. Is, is her name is Jefferson. Serve a black name. On the United States Supreme Court. Check this Court. out. Her middle name is Brown. <laughs> As I did four days ago, I've nominated the Circuit Court of Appeals, Katanji Brown Jackson. Okay, Katanji. One of our nation's top legal minds. 
who continue in just broad Justice Breyer's legacy of excellence. Ron Jackson, that's a black <laughs> man. A former top it, litigator in private Katanji practice. Katanji wasn't? <laughs> a former yeah. federal public defender from a family of public school educators and police officers. She's a consensus builder. Since she's been nominated, she's received a broad range of support, including the Fraternal Order of Police and former judges supported by Democrats and Republicans. Again, honestly, I have no idea Folks, what judge means what. If we're to um, advance liberty and justice. It's way too much digging to look this shit up and find out what's going on with judges, you know? System. Well, the D.C. Circuit Court <laughs> is considered uh, one of the courts that most of the Supreme Courts come from. No, he should be called a racist by his own side just for saying, I want to secure the border. Huh? He just said, secure our borders and fix our broken right immigration system. I think system. we can do both. That's it. Trump border, got called a racist we for that. We new he technology be called a racist cutting edge scanners to better detect drug smuggling. We've set up joint patrols in Mexico and Guatemala to catch more human traffickers. We're putting in place dedicated immigration judges in significant larger number so families okay, fleeing no, persecution and violence good. can have their curses, cases heard faster and those who don't legitimately hear can be sent back. We're screening, we're securing commitments and supporting partners in South and Central America to host more refugees and secure their own borders. We can do all this while keeping lit the torch of liberty that has led the generation of immigrants to this land, my forebears and many of yours. Provide a pathway to citizenship for dreamers. Oh, Pocahontas Those is from here. Dreamers. Farm workers, essential workers. Oh Revise our laws so businesses have workers they need and families don't wait decades to reunite. It's not only the right thing to do, it's economically smart thing to do. That's why the immigration reform is supported by everyone from labor unions to religious leaders to the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Let's get Just wait till the average American that finds all. out that Russia actually sent in 3 million Folks. people through the Mexican border to go to California and vote everyone out of office because illegals are allowed to vote in California. Advancing liberty and justice also requires protecting they go, the They're going to take women. over the government in California the right affirmed by Roe and change Wade. all their constitutional, uh, their electoral college votes. As never before. Yeah, but we must forward, not backwards. Yeah. We must protect access to health care. Safe, legal, and Preserve rare. Woman's right it's now to become and common and on demand. Health care for all Americans. Look at Kermit Gauze now. Remember him? Yep. Anyone who doesn't remember him, he was Americans. the guy who was cutting spinal oh, cords no, out of freshly no, born no, babies no. to abort them. To my desk. <clears throat> the onslaught of state laws targeting transgender Americans and their families. It's simply wrong. And I said last year, especially to our younger transgender Americans, I'll always have your back as your president. I don't uh, so you pro can be abortion, yourself not even like pro choice. God given potential. And I asked her, why is it okay for her to abort, but for me, not okay for me to kick a uh, pregnant woman in the belly as until I the baby's dead? And she's like, because well, that's murder. Well, it often appears we do not agree. <laughs> I was like, ah, now and explain that, to me the difference. Uh, yeah, he's, <laughs> he's placating he he to the trainees, so. I signed 80 bipartisan bills in the law last year. From preventing government shutdowns, to protecting Asian Americans from still too common hate crimes, to reforming military justice, and will soon be strengthening the Violence Against Women Act that I first wrote three decades ago. It's important. Uh, Violence Against Women Act is very, very show. sexist, isn't it? Yeah. Like, like, actually, come together and do big the left should accept that as sexist, Tonight right? I'm offering a unity agenda for the nation. Four of big course, now that World War Three is breaking up, they're all in the kitchen First, making pies, aren't they? Eat the opioid <laughs> <laughs> That's me on a regular Tuesday, so though. We can do. Oh, did you want to vote? Increase you might get drafted, right? <laughs> treatment. Sounds fair to me. Get rid of outdated rules and stop doctors and and the, that stop doctors for prescribing drink. <laughs> yeah. Stop the flow of so we can use our vector local law enforcement. The COVID drug things. for whatever I they want to use it for. Addiction. You know, you should know you're not <clears throat> alone. I believe in recovery, and I, I say, oh yeah, we know you do. Million, Twenty-three. Yeah, Hunter Biden in recovery. Yeah. Second. Let's take on mental health. 
<laughs> especially among our children whose lives and education have Hunter been Biden side turned like upside crack down. Nice. <laughs> American Rescue Plan. You keep pulling that thing out. You better light it up. Otherwise, I'm going to be pissed at you. I can't do I that in the house. I every parent to make sure your school, your school does just that. They have the money. We can all play a part. Sign up to be a tutor or a mentor. Children were also struggling before the pandemic. Bullying, violence, trauma, and the harms of social media. As Francis Haugen, who is here tonight with us, has shown. Francis Hogan? Who told social media platforms accountable for the national oh, experiment. Oh, from Facebook? Conducting the whistleblower of the spoof. Yeah. That wants to give Facebook more authority to censor. Folks. Thank you. Thank you for the courage you showed. It's time to strengthen privacy protections, ban targeted advertising to children, demand tech companies stop collecting personal data on our children, and let's get all me. Americans the mental health services they need. More people can turn for help and full parity between physical and mental health care if we treat it that way in our insurance. Look. The ship's not making this speech any better. Is support our veterans. Veterans are the backbone and the spine of this country. They're the best of us. Yeah, they're the, <laughs> they're the great glass in case of war the people. Obligation of those we send to war uh, and they're also the people that you say are assholes home. and you refuse to My accept them as society. Because they're sick. Because you broke them. Lower income veterans get VA care debt free. I'm still waiting for my VA care. In Afghanistan, I've been dangers. over like 17 years. One being stationed at bases, breathing in toxic smoke from burn pits. Many of you have been there. I've been in and out of Iraq and Afghanistan over 40 times. So have I. Burn pits that incinerate waste, the waste of war, medical and hazards material, jet fuel, and so much more. And they come home. Many of the world's fittest and best trained warriors in the world, never the same. Headaches, numbness, dizziness. That's why we get drunk and make podcasts. Cancer that would put yeah, right? in a flag drape coffin. We got I that know. dark humor. You know, not everyone gets it. Kind of like food. One of those, one of those soldiers was my son, Major Bo Biden. I don't know for sure if the burn pit that he lived near. Yeah, he's that good kid, Dad. That sucked, huh? Yeah. In Iraq. And now we're left with the that, drug hunter addled, survived. Yeah, the, the drug out of cancer, The disease of so many other troops. But I am committed to find out everything we can. Committed to military families like Danielle Robinson from Ohio, the widow of Sergeant First Class Heath Robinson. He was born a soldier. Army National Guard. Combat medic in Kosovo and Iraq. He was born Stationed soldier. Near Baghdad, just yards yeah. from burn pits the size of football fields. Danielle is here with us tonight. They love going to Ohio State football games. The Buckeyes, they didn't team after a nut. Ohio State. The Buckeyes. Yep. They're not even that good. They don't compete, actually, against the top Legos 10 teams, even though they think they do. But cancer from prolonged exposure to burn pits ravaged Heath's lungs and body. Danielle says Heath was a fighter to the very end. He didn't know how to stop fighting, and neither did she. Through her pain, she found purpose to demand that we do better. Tonight, Danielle, we are going to do better. The VA... The VA is pioneering new ways of linking toxic exposure to disease, already helping more veterans get benefits. And tonight, I'm announcing we're expanding eligibility to veterans suffering from nine respiratory cancers. I'm also calling on Congress to pass a law to make sure veterans devastated by toxic exposure in Iraq and Afghanistan finally get the benefits of the comprehensive health care they deserve. What about the veterans with invisible scars? 
Yeah. You don't matter. No, exactly. Last, I don't matter. Let's end cancer as we know it. This is personal. Okay. Okay. Did he just suggest yeah. he was going to cure cancer? Cure cancer. We've heard this before from other people. Oh! That's a... Uh, this is personal to me and to Jill God, and to Debbie Wasman Schultz is going to show up so here, man. So I got the TV on, too. So many of you have lost someone you love. Husband, wife, son, daughter, mom, dad. Nope. Cancer is the number two cause of death in America. Oh, Second cancer, yes. Heart disease. Last month, I announced the plan to supercharge the I cancer. I heart disease was number one cause of death in the United States. It is. Our goal is to cut cancer death rates. Heart disease. By at least oh, okay, my mistake. Over the next 25 years, I think we can do better than that. Turn cancers from death sentences into treatable diseases. More support for patients and their families. To get there, I call on Congress to fund. Cancer's nasty, what but I call uh, ARPA H. It almost seems like advanced, nature's mom. Advanced Research Projects Agency for Health. Pattern after DARPA in the Defense Department. Projects that led in DARPA to the internet, GPS, and so much more that make our forces more safer and be able to wage war more with more clarity. ARPA will have a singular purpose to drive breakthroughs in cancer, the fuck is this? Alzheimer's and diabetes, and more. A unity agenda for the nation. Cancer so armor. Am I the only one that's saw that our armor? Power. And I don't see a partisan edge to any one of those four things. Maybe I was My dealing with some pop up that said some weird ex tonight, things that expired two days and didn't care. No matter what I did. gathered in this sacred space, a citadel of democracy, in this capital, generation after generation of Americans have debated great questions amid great strife and have done great things. We fought for freedom, expanded liberty, debated totalitarianism and terror. We built the strongest, freest, and most prosperous nation the world has ever known. Now is the hour. Again, it sounds Our like Trump. Of responsibility. Yep. This is racist when Trump said it, right? Yep. Of history itself. It now I'm tempted to go look up Trump's State of the Union and play it against this, you know? And how he was booed and called a racist. Found. Our future is forged. Well, I know this nation. We'll meet the test. Protect freedom and liberty. Expand fairness and opportunity. And we will save democracy. As hard as those times have been, I'm more optimistic about America today than I've been my whole life, because I see the future that's within our grasp, because I know there's simply nothing beyond our, our capacity. Damn it. We're the only nation on Earth that <laughs> has always turned every crisis we faced into an opportunity. The only nation that can be defined by a single word, possibilities. God so bless his speechwriter. On our 245th year as a nation. That dude had a tough time figuring this one out, huh? The state of the nation, the state of the union. And my report oh. is this. The state of the union is strong because you, the American people, are strong. Oh, are you just... Today. For 15 years, you've been calling half the country ago. worthless. Now you're going to say they're strong? And we'll be stronger a year from now than we are today. This is our moment to meet and overcome the challenges of our time. And we will, as one people, one America, the United States oh, he's of America. Done. God bless this you This is a grand finale. And may God protect our troops. Thank you. Go this is as long as the medicine works for. Yeah, now his boner pill is about to kick in. He's going to go find Joe. Biden speaking for a little over an hour in his first state of the Damn Union speech. Dead. I'm going to be Spending honest and fair here. Uh, 10 or 11 minutes talking Joe didn't about do that bad. Uh, in I disagree with him, but he was actually coherent the most of the time. I did not expect coalition that. Coalition of countries that have stood up to Vladimir Putin. Now we got to wait for Rashid Tlaib's uh, rebuttal. Oh, you... One way but what in the crowd of members Probably, of Congress want to go to NBC? You can uh, either pause or mute while we uh, maybe cover a topic waiting for that because it's going to be a minute. And we also have to hear 
in the crowd, a member uh, of Congress. The Republican there. comment, right? In his mm -hmm. State of the Union. Get oh. Lord Boebert from Colorado, as the president right, was talking I mean, about. I'll turn off screen sharing for the moment. Well, we're probably going to want to see the screen share. Well, all right. Probably going to bring it back when it's uh, the rebuttal, if, if we're going to stick around for it. Okay. He's getting a rebuttal from his own party. That's what I was saying. He's getting a rebuttal from his own party. That is it's unusual. Unfree. Mask. <laughs> that guy's been wearing a mask the whole time. Of course he has, but we haven't seen it yet. Yeah, I have. Oh, he's in a wheelchair, too. Yeah. He's probably the guy that when Joe was campaigning way back when, when he told him to stand up. Oh, that was hilarious. Oh, my mistake. My, oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, 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 well, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get back. Uh, while we kill some time trying to find stuff we were talking about. Another picture of Dana Perino. Uh, Jesus Christ. It has something to do with his Supreme Court justice. Oh, never mind. I don't even know where that came from. Biden's State of the Union exposes Democratic Party divisions. How did yeah, he get what, even? That was about because Rashid Tlaib is doing a rebuttal to it, you know, the a <sighs> member of the Workers' Party coalition or whatever the coalition's calling themselves these days. Yeah, and I'm actually, turn I see Green Share back on once she comes up. So, uh, I see the uh, uh, funny uh, little meme thing here. It says, Democrats given a response to Democratic President Sotu, priceless. And it says, Hello, my name is Captain Obvious. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Captain Oblivious. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This, this might be good. The hell is that? Oh, it's a tick or a stink bug. All right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm guessing you added that in recently. What? Uh, I don't know. I, I guess I just didn't read the article. We got some comments from uh, Michael Duncan. Yeah, gallery. <laughs> yep. The poor kids are just as smart as the white kids. Look, someone cut his hair with a weed <laughs> whacker. <laughs> Talk about COVID dick, which we did. <laughs> <laughs> we did, didn't we? <laughs> I, I, I would love to see us grow to the point where we could actually do a um a live like live shout out, live reads of these some of these comments. Cause right, because some, of them, some of them are pretty amazing. good. Yeah. We could, but it would take a lot of effort. Uh, actually, most of the bigger shows but people that actually have followers they tend to do a piece of the show and then uh read comments or you know whatever for a while then go back to the show yeah. uh well that's what i've seen anyway like uh no agenda does that too yeah right, of course that's also like donations and stuff they read but it's pretty entertaining sometimes sometimes it's just stupid and a waste of an hour it's a three-hour show. That show could be two hours long. Yeah. But apparently, these people, if you get to a certain point, if the money donated, you actually get, like, real credits you can use for something else, like, as, as an executive producer kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, they, they let you add it to you. They actually vouch for you and let you put it on your LinkedIn profile and, you know, as a producer of the show. That's a big deal because I might get you a job somewhere else too. Mm -hmm. You know, references. Well, everybody was super excited about Elon Musk this week. The Starlink? Is that what this is? Yeah. He's uh, repositioned his internet so that Ukraine can have access to the internet. <clears throat> yeah, he uh, has not brought Starlink online yet. For all, it's on testing phone. There are countries using it. He kicked it on for these, uh, for Ukraine. Basically, they have uh, internet as fast as anyone has with a cable, but they can do it with their phones. 
is basically what it is, right? Uh-huh. You got a, a system of satellites orbiting yes. the planet. Yeah. Uh, speed of light communication. Yeah, I think that's really cool. really cool stuff. Huh? Starlight is really cool stuff. Like it works if you live out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, you could run this show. Well, that's like probably and you know where Biden just said that people in the middle of nowhere are going to be able to get high speed internet now. Who do you think is going to profit off of that? Elon, Elon Musk. Musk. And from what I understand, he pays a pretty good wage too. So. Well, if he's going to figure out how to do it and put it in place, he should make the money, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't see a problem with this, honestly. Even Joe Biden says it's a big deal, but Elon Musk has only talked trash about Biden. But Biden's a capitalist. He'll do business with whoever he can to help people out. No, Joe Biden is a criminal. I know. I'm and he'll do whatever he can to make sure he doesn't go to prison. Like run for president. Makes it tough to put a someone in, uh, in prison who's in the president of the United States, right? Yeah. But. All right. Well, how much of this you guys want to do? Or do you just want to well, say uh, we did the State of the Union and that was fucking hilarious? Yeah, we did the State of the Union and that was fucking hilarious. Because we got a whole bunch of like Russia stuff coming up. Now, I'm glad we did mention the Elon Musk thing. And we talked about Target paying out big money. Yeah, uh, well, I was just in general. <laughs> I don't trust any news source telling me about what's going on in Ukraine. Uh, because, well, I'm not saying it's all a lot. I'm just saying that uh, the reporters always seem to kick the camera on right after the rockets were fired. You know what I mean? Right, right after the shelling. And, you know, oh, it took us a minute to get the camera on. It's like, yeah, but if if they, you said they fired 65 rockets. Yeah. It's like, you, you had time to count them but not turn the camera on? Yeah. <laughs> you know? I want to see this video. I really do. And all the videos I have seen are even weird. It's like, oh, a wow, rocket landed right next to this woman's house. And they show finally the sky. But then it, it cuts out because, like, the window, you know, then it's the wall but the house doesn't shake or anything. And it's like, I just don't know what's real anymore. You know? I don't know how many people have actually died. I don't know how many. I have no idea what's going on. Aren't you missing your tinfoil hat for this one? Is Biden signing autographs? Uh, I guess he might be. Yeah, it looks like it. Mm. Hold up. Uh, I need to deflect the uh, brain waves properly here. Well, it's the same idea as a, a stealth bomber or, a, you know what I mean? It's, it it's a flex <laughs> radar signal, right? That's the whole like Protect you I, from the lizard. Was I, I allowed to say that out loud? Did, seriously, did I just like violate my uh, top secret clearance by saying that out loud? Well, you don't have a top secret clearance anymore. Oh, no, mine has expired, but I can... Yeah. I, no! No, actually, that's something different. I was about to say, uh, I can't go to prison anymore for that, but I can't go to prison anymore if a weld fails that I did on a Navy ship. I could have until like 15 years after I got out. I'm pretty sure having top-secret information is still a crime to release. Yeah, anyway, you don't have your clearance anymore. That's all I'm saying. I don't now, but I did then. Yeah. Anyway, I'm pretty sure they put a Vaseline on the outside of these jets to stop radar signal uh, from picking up these uh, aircraft and definitely not goofy shapes and reflective uh, paint. Watch now, a Russian somewhere is going to be wearing, no, going to be slapping Vaseline over a Cessna. <laughs> well, that's what they're doing. It's crazy Americans in their Vaseline. They use it for everything. Making seals and toilets, having having butt sex with men, <laughs> hiding aircraft. <laughs> I don't know anybody who uses Vaseline for that. Uh, no, that 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 uh, particular application for jets. No, 
Yeah, well, we came up with Astro Glide since then. So that's a petroleum based product, too. <laughs> <laughs> you better. We lost her. That's what it looks like. I don't know if she's coming back. She probably get an actual drink this time. Okay, this thing hurts. <laughs> Ow. Ah. I've rolled it over like three times in my chair and I keep reforming it. And now it's just sharp and itchy on my head. <laughs> Go to Dollar Tree. Yeah, that's, that's the Astro Glide. That's the Astro Glide I was talking about, isn't it? No, that's uh, this is um, Vaseline. <laughs> no, uh, Adam and Eve brand. Ah, I've been unimpressed with their products in general. Is it is it a warming one though? No, it's no. uh, it's, it's when you get a pound in the butt, you don't need to be hotter. <laughs> Nope. This this is the uh, this one almost has like a numbing effect to it. So <laughs> <laughs> makes him last longer. Oh my god! See, see, you get part of the butt longer. <laughs> I, yeah. Oh my god! All right. Anyway, I now, think that's our show. No, that that's. <laughs> been said <laughs> that's our shit Got it. <laughs> that's her shit all over his dick <laughs> oh my god i don't know oh, i don't oh there you go I, I, there you go i'm got a brian mcfadden picture again <laughs> how do i stop the recording i got it all right